Hi, it's Michaela. Welcome to my fluid art channel. I am about to show how I transform a pour that I was really unhappy with. It was super plain. And I'm using this indigo base here, just showing it briefly. And how I basically turn it into something that I love and I'm calling it a masterpiece because it's kind of hard to do that, to take a pour that's not working out and then change it section by section or little by little to something you are really happy with and um, this is my first base color is this indigo i created with violet and a couple different blue shades um, i used of course one blue that was opaque because the violet and the other blue are transparent and i didn't want to have to prep the canvas. Um, I wanted there to be enough coverage. So I'm also using this titanium white by Amsterdam. All my colors will be listed in the description box with the paint brands. And so I'm just spreading a, you know, just a thin layer of the base paint. And then I use the blow dryer to make sure that it's evenly covering and basically pretty thin layer. All the paints are mixed with about 45 to 50% water. And I do have a paint mixing tutorial video if you have more um, detailed questions about that. So my first color here is going to be oh I'm just fixing the sides you have to make sure that you have um, paint you know covering all the sides if you want to get that look where the paint runs over the sides really nicely and then I of course I torched it to make sure there were no air bubbles in those base colors so this is Amsterdam primary magenta and this is Windsor & Newton Thalo Blue. It's kind of a greenish blue color. Next is Amsterdam Primary Cyan. And I'm using these dots of paint instead of lines, but that's what caused me problems in this pores. I just didn't have enough colors down. I didn't have enough paint. But the last time I did one of these, I had the opposite problem where I had way too much paint and I had to blow a ton of the paint off. So, um, yeah, this time I ended up using too little. So this is Amsterdam Olive Green Light. And then this is Pevio's Iridescent Precious Gold. Now I'm just adding my base colors to each side. And then I'm going to blow the base colors over the puddles. I torch again before because um, each time I'm adding paint, I want to get the air bubbles out. So there you see how I blew the paint over, torched again, and now I'm just going for it. See how I can blow it out. And that's all I got. I didn't get much color. So this is what I mean by I had to transform it because there's just not much happening there. I try to blow some white down over the blue and just to get some effect. Sometimes it creates a lot of cells, but I didn't get much here. And then I kind of blow around to, um, I'm looking for colors if they're under there somewhere. So, um, just not much there. And 
And I, of course, I had to speed this up because um, this pour took me over an hour. And, um, you know, I didn't want this to be a super long video. So I'm scraping off that section there and I'm going to add another puddle. Put the white back down. And then I always torch again in between. You don't have to torch. So I'm doing the same order. That's That was the magenta and then the thalo blue and then the primary cyan. I did put a little touch of that indigo before I put the olive green light and the gold. And then adding some white. And just gently, I didn't want to ruin the cells and that little bit of color I had on there. So I just had to do that really gently. And then there, that time, I got kind of a nice flow out of color. So I'm going to let you watch the rest. And I just continue to mess with it and I I change some parts several times so um, hope you like it and hope you find it helpful see you in a bit bye
So here it is, finally. And I do love it with all that negative space because the colors are so bright. I'm just zooming in here, these cells are so pretty with this orange and that sort of yellowish green, purple, magenta. This painting has a lot of really pretty details and a lot of color. So that's why I, th I think it's fine with all that white negative space. And it's really beautiful how it came over the edges there. So I really love this pour. I'm calling it a painting, but it's a pour. I guess. <laughs> and this, you saw me mess with it so many times on that corner. I do reuse my scrape paint. I save it all in a container and I reuse it as a base coat for other pores. So yeah, there's the wet result. Oh, and here's the dried result. So it has a coat of varnish. I usually just do one or two coats. And you see it dried beautifully, it's, colors are super vibrant, all the details are there. I really love this one. I'm, a lot of times I'm kind of picky or hard on myself, but I do love this pour. And this, look at those gold cells and the way the green, blues, and just all the colors, the way they go over the edges. And then this section up here, that sort of fiery um, part there, I just love it. It's a little bit of unevenness in the white base, so I might have to do a um, resin finish over it. I might actually do a video of that. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that. So I'm just showing another just showing it here in a different light where it's, um, you know, on the counter. And um, yeah, I just hope this helps you. I hope it gives you some ideas. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It really helps my channel. And it's free. So, oh. And these two, um, oh, that one's like upside down, but they're the same colors. I used the same colors in those two uh, little pores there, two eight by eights, as here. Just the only difference is I used a white base and no indigo. So it's kind of interesting. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.